if from the beginning of time to die means that once you die, you will appear in America with an American passport. You can come back to Nigeria again, die again, you will land in the country of your choice with your name and your face on the passport. I said, you can, if you die 10 times, you will go to 10 countries 10 times and have all their passports to your name and your face, assuming that's the meaning of death from the beginning of time. Now, if there is a house of death, how long will be the queue? First of all, there will be no embassies anymore. High commissions will be useless. Because since death has changed to American passport, British passport, people will want to die. Somebody will even go there and say, sorry, are you the killer? Say yes. Well, you know what? My brother came yesterday and he, he, um, I learned you use one knife to kill him. He didn't die after four hours. And he missed his meeting. Don't you have something like bomb? Or nuclear missile? Because I need to die quickly so that I can get that passport and make my meeting in Brazil for two minutes. Because I need four passports today and I need to die four times. All of a sudden, people will want to die. Why? Because death is not what they're afraid of. There is the event of death. There is life after death. It is not the event of death that people are afraid of. It is what happens after death that people are afraid of. The moment what happens after death became America, people were ready to die. They were no longer afraid of the event of death. They are now focused on what happens after death. So when people are afraid of death, it is not death they are afraid of. You are not afraid to die. You are not sure of what's on the other side. And if you are not sure of what's on the other side, you are definitely not sure of the custodian. Thanks for listening to this wonderful message. Very short message. Please kindly drop your comment in the comment box below. What do you think about the message? Is it true? The very short uh, word that you just listened uh, listen to. Is it true? Is it true? The concept the man shared, are people not really afraid of death? Or they are not just sure of what will happen next? If they are sure of what will happen next, do you think that people will be happy to die? Or do you think a death will be a joyful thing? Or probably you know where you are going or not. Do you think this death concept will still be uh, a joyful thing when people hear that they want to die? If the end point of where you are going to is positive, which is heaven, if the end point of where you are going is hell, if it is negative, which is hell, do you really think that people will be happy when they know? Because as Christians, you must just be happy. I'm not this is not an encouragement for untimely death or sudden death, but it is just that even at old age, will the death concept still be 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 uh, accepted? Will it still be a joyful thing or a happy thing? Drop your comment in the section below. God bless you as you listen. You kindly like, subscribe, and share uh, the the YouTube link and invite your friends. God bless you.